guys, we are back for another Lord of the Dank beer tasting and today I'm going to be tasting this beer from Callum and Mike. It's their Sticky Date. Uh, it says Lord of the Dank Comp Brew 5.5% ABV and they've written good luck everyone enjoy on the front. On the side it says brewed by the Hard Yards boys. Cheers. So thank you very much for this Callum and Mike. Really looking forward to uh, Cracking into this. So I'll do that first. Oh yeah, nice little nice little hiss off the top there. Let's pour this up. Not sure if this is bottle conditioned or off the keg, so we'll but we'll, we'll go for the bottle condition first. Yeah, it looks like there might be a little bit of sediment in the bottom. So yeah, there it is there. Sorry the light um, isn't as great as it was yesterday or the, for the previous video. It's, um, yeah, the sun's gone down so we're just using artificial lighting. But hopefully you can see that's a really nice, um, very similar to Stas's, um, a nice deep sort of burnt orange colour. A um, little bit hazier possibly. Um, And just holding, holding a, a quite a small but nicely um, formed head. Some nice tight bubbles on the top. So yeah, that looks fantastic. So cheers, guys. I've got no info on the beer, so we'll just um, is, is my speciality where I tend to get things uh, wrong more often than not. Not we'll go in blind. Oh. Really nice um, hop aroma straight up off the top. Real nice sort of combo of um, citrus and tropical fruits. I've no idea what um, what hops are in there, but yeah, real nice combo. And then I'm getting a little bit of uh, sweet caramel on the nose as well. Oh, that smells fantastic. Well, I'm going to try and keep these videos fairly short because I know everyone's got lots to watch. So I'm going to dive in. Cheers, Mike and Caleb. Oh, that's good. Really juicy. Um, real, really nice and juicy on the tongue. Um, Nice fresh. I think the beer might be knocking on a little bit, little bit, but there's some still some nice sort of fresh, juicy hop um, quality coming through. You can tell there's a lot of hops in there. Um, once very similar to the nose as far as um, yeah, that sort of combination of citrus and tropical fruit, but. Um, yeah, more sort of piney and on the flavour, and maybe some some sort of resin as well. Yeah, it's definitely got a, um, as the name suggests, I was going to say it's got like a mouth coating um, sort of quality to it, it's almost a stickiness. So I'm not sure. Oh, I said I think I said sticky date. It's sticky days. Sorry, guys. Welcome to Amateur Hour. It's probably a multitude of uh, mistakes already. Um, yeah, there is definitely a sticky, almost oily quality to the to the mouth um, texture presence. Real good, nice big um, firm bitterness up front. And that just nice slides away nicely. Um, on the nose, I was picking up a bit of sweetness, and I'm getting that through again. Mm. A real nice level of um, sort of yeah, malt, malt sweetness there, which I really like. But it's not too high that it's making the beer unbalanced. It's a real nice, um, sits really nice with, with the hops and the 
um, the bitterness, etc. Carbonation, probably a, maybe a smidge on the um, low side. That may be my only um, personal um, thing that I would change. Um, but you may have purposely undercarb them uh, because you're bottling them and, and shipping them. Um, apologies if you can hear that rain, it's absolutely pouring outside. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is, like I said, keep these short, then I'll go away, um, do some marking, and I'll come back for a very quick sort of final summary of the beer, so uh, we'll catch you very shortly. Cheers guys! Okay, we're back for uh, just final thoughts on the beer after doing some marking. Um, first up, fantastic job, uh, Mike and Caleb. Um, yeah, fantastic appearance. Um, really nice juicy aroma follows through even better on the flavor even more intense juicy hot quality um, a really really enjoyable beer love that sort of um, that sort of caramel malt sweetness that was coming through uh, it was quite pronounced but I, I did really enjoy that and considering it's uh, what five and a half percent it's got um, it's got tons tons and tons of flavor in it um, yeah, fantastic job. I guess, like I said earlier, my only thing I would change is the um, carbonation. Um, it's a little bit hazy, but I, I don't care about that personally. Um, so yeah, top job guys. You should be very proud of that. And um, yeah, well, you know, good luck in the competition. I, I think you'll do very well. So cheers guys, and we'll catch you in the next video. Over and out.